Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and first impressions of the TCL 20 SE. Now this was released at the beginning of the year alongside the TCL 20 S I think and Pro. This is the budget option so I'm just going to unbox it, see what it looks like. To be perfectly honest I bought this phone out of curiosity. I've never used a TCL product before. Obviously we know that they're well known for making TVs and then obviously they branched into phones. So this is the second generation, obviously the TCL 10 came out last year. So I'm just gonna unbox this now and just have a look and see what it's like. Okay, so I got the TCL 20 SE in Aurora Green. It's also available in a black color as well. It comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And from what I've seen, it's a hefty phone. You get a 6.82 inch HD display, so that's the Aurora Green. It actually looks quite nice to be perfectly honest. And there we go, that ain't bad. So you get your fingerprint sensor on the back, quad camera setup, which says a 16 megapixel main sensor, a five megapixel ultra wide camera, and then two two megapixel depth and macro cameras as well. On the right hand side, you've got your power button and your volume rocker. And then on the left is a dedicated Google Assistant button and your SIM tray. On the bottom is your USB-C port, which supports 18 watt fast charging, which isn't the fastest, but then again, for such a cheap phone, you can't really complain. And then you've got speakers as well. And then at the top, you've got a headphone jack and a microphone. And then in the earpiece, there is actually another speaker. So there's dual speaker support on this phone. So this phone, 99 quid is what I paid for, which is just insane money for, to be honest, what it looks like, which is actually really nice. And then you get a quad camera set up, a very large 5,000 milliamp battery. I'm just gonna switch it on. And then I'll use this as my daily phone for a week, something like that, or a few days, whatever I decide. And then I'll do a more in-depth review in a week or so, or in a couple of weeks. So we're just powered on, obviously powered by Android, TCL logo there. So at the top, there's a bit of a nipple notch, which houses the selfie camera. And then at the bottom, there's a relatively sizable chin on the bottom there. If I just set that aside just while it's loading up and just have a look at the rest of the box. So you get a screen protector, which you have to apply yourself, which isn't too bad. A clear case your paperwork, your power adapter, and USB-C cable. So it's kind of sort of chucked in there. It's not in there in any nice arrangement, but I'm not really that bothered to be perfectly honest. Okay, so it's booted up. I'm just gonna put all my information in and then we'll have a quick squint at the OS and see how it runs. Okay, so all my info is set up on the TCL 20 SE. Been having a little fiddle through the UI for around 20 minutes or so and to be honest I'm quite impressed with the phone. Everything works pretty smooth. Jumping into the settings it's got a very sort of stock Android look to it. Very sort of reminiscent of the Motorola G series phones, my Moto G30 with the exception of the NXT Vision section and TCL account and all that sort of stuff. This looks very very similar. So of course you've got your normal Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SIM card networks, all that sort of stuff. Home and lock screen, all your settings for that are in there. Display, this is where you can sort out your dark mode, auto rotate, status bar and notch. You can just flip into that. If you don't like the little nipple notch on the top, of course you can get rid of that. NXT Vision, which I think is just TCL's TV technology that they brought to their phones, which by the looks of it enhances the sharpness and the contrast and all the colours of everything that's on your screen to make everything look a bit punchier and a bit nicer. Obviously you've got your sound and vibration, all the normal stuff there, notifications, buttons and gestures, three finger screenshots, split screen, double tap to wake, and then if you can go on there you've got full gesture support, or of course you can use the buttons as well. But I like to keep the, the gestures because that's what I use on all my phones and I found that it's pretty, pretty straightforward to use. So running the TCL20 SE is the low range Snapdragon 460 processor. So of course performance is gonna be very limited. Opening apps, you might notice a little bit of a delay, but I haven't found it to be that noticeable to be honest. 
bit of a pause on that one and loading up there there is a little bit of a pause but to be honest it's not anything that I'm going to be that fussed on it's not going to be a deal breaker this apps tray is a little bit different to what other apps trays are it's organized into different sections so you've got media utilities Google system TCL own apps games weather app in life apparently and then others which does make it quite good and quite easy to search for what you want and in terms of the screen it's a 6.82 inch HD display with a 720p resolution so of course visuals are not going to be up to the scratch of a full HD display 263 ppi is what you get on the TCL 20 SE so it is very similar to what I've got on the Motorola G30 and I've come to be used to that to be perfectly honest with you it's perfectly usable I've got no issues using it out in the daytime I did go out into the garden with the sun out and it is perfectly usable in there on the side of the phone you've got your power button and your volume rocker on the left you've got your dedicated Google Assistant button and your SIM tray and then on the back is your fingerprint sensor and your quad camera set up there which consists of a 16 megapixel main sensor a 5 megapixel ultra wide and then two 2 megapixel macro and depth cameras so the ultra wide camera has been downgraded to a 5 megapixel sensor down from the 8 that you normally find on other phones we'll see how that performs in terms of the look of the phone it's actually a really nice Aurora green TCL call it it is made of plastic but it is quite a nice color and then you've got kind of that two-tone effect there it is a big phone okay so don't get me wrong this isn't a small phone I found that the Mi 10T Lite and the Poco X3 Pro were quite big but this is bigger again so if you're someone that's coming from a small phone and that isn't used to having large phones like this in your hand then this might not be the phone for you but if you're someone that's had maybe like a Motorola G9 Plus or anything like that or a G9 Power something that's quite big then this shouldn't be too much of an issue okay so that's my first impressions of the TCL 20 SE I'll see how it does in a week or so when I use it as my full-time phone go through the cameras and the performance and all that sort of stuff so far I'm quite impressed with what I paid I mean it was 99 quid so I'm not expecting huge amounts from it but like I said see what it's like and thank you for watching if you're doing enjoy this video you know what to do I'll see you in the next one